This is Murley Notes for March 10th, 2022. The theme is the phenomenon of faith or knowing and then doubting. You are sitting here face to face with incorporeal God and with Prajapita Brahma. The Unlimited Father is teaching through this Dada. Faith in your intellect is number wise. Faith means that you know. There are moments when you know this is true and moments when you doubt. The game is of knowing and then doubting. What causes this? The soul is influenced. When you are here, you know, and when you go outside, you come under the influence of external prevailing attitudes and you doubt. Certainty and uncertainty, clarity and opacity. The divine intellect is clear. Materialism makes it opaque. Your faith breaks, your certainty breaks. This is a phenomenon. Incorporeal God is sitting in front of you saying, take the full inheritance properly. Follow Srimat at each step. This depends on you being honest with God. Keep him fully informed about where you are and what you are doing. Then he can advise you. Take his advice at each step. This is the university of God the Father. Study properly. Do not miss the study because of your other work. All the money you are earning in your job will vanish into dust. Your descendants will not receive any of it. Destruction is in front of you. God has come in order to make you into deities, so you must follow the study that makes you into that. It is a long journey over rough terrain, so you must take care at each step. Religious people believe that their search for God is fulfilled when they get a vision. They believe they meet God in the form of Krishna, Hanuman, Christ, etc. They think they have attained salvation. The drama is fixed and eternal. All must go into total degradation. As the son of God, You should be the master of the world. So, how did you get so degraded? The concept of the omnipresence of God prevents logical, systematic thought. Remain in yoga and become karmatit. Become completely viceless as you once were. The people of the various religions will not enter heaven. Those who were in heaven have been separated from God since long. These are the cherished ones, the Sikilade. 
Which souls first descend from Paramdam to play their roles? It is the deity souls. They have to be restored to their own true dharma. God says, I have to come especially for these souls. And together with them, I am also here for the other souls because I have to bring them into mukti, liberation. They must be returned to the home of light. At present, the deity civilization doesn't exist. Its sapling has to be planted. It has to be initiated. Deity souls have gone into various other religions. They will find their way back here. The way of establishing this dharma is most unusual. So people say of God that his Srimat and the destination of salvation that he defines is different from all other ways and it is most extraordinary. How the deity civilization is established is incomprehensible to any others. Those who have been in material consciousness for so very long are now made soul conscious. This takes a lot of work. You keep losing consciousness. You must remain in my remembrance while performing all your activities. You are pressured and heavily weighed down by negative karma. You have seen a great deal of happiness and a great deal of hardship and distress. I have come to restore you to happiness. Therefore, you need to follow Srimat and in addition, you need to bring others into remembrance. Explain the secrets of the world cycle. This is very clear and it is called being a seer of the three aspects of time. You need to be free from arrogance. Some of you are very arrogant. Whatever you do, others will do likewise. Do not make others into your slaves. Baba comes to serve you. Yet he is the most insulted of all. There are many obstacles. Even so, he plays his role with such humility. He has to clean filthy souls and melt the corrupted gold until all impurities are gone. The foundation of completion is fulfillment. Regardless of the obstacles, remain in a state of fulfillment. Spread positive, pure feelings and good wishes, and thus everything returns to its original condition. Om Shanti.